Hey guys, welcome to another one of my video segments. Uh, in, this, in this one, I got a little bored and I felt a little experimental, so I decided to go to the grocery store and attempt to make ballistics gelatin. Even though I know it's not the real thing, uh, this ended up being pretty effective at stopping air gun pellets uh, at 50 foot pounds so far. And it was pretty fun to do, pretty easy, pretty cheap. Uh, I think I spent like seven bucks total. Um, so it's a lot cheaper than the real thing. Um, but anyway, just stay tuned. First thing you're going to need is a pot big enough to hold eight cups of water. Eight ounces of generic gelatin. You are going to need eight cups of cold water. All right, let's start off with measuring eight cups of cold water in your container. And after you get that done, simply pour it in your pot. Okay, once you get the water poured into your pot, the next step is to begin mixing the eight ounces of um, gelatin, which should be about 32 packets. All right, there's 32 packets and eight ounces of water. There's all the packets. All right. First step, mixed in cold water. Complete. Okay, pretty much done mixing it. This is uh, heating it, got it to dissolve. So now I'm gonna put it in the freezer or the refrigerator for about three hours, let it cool down. But there are no clumps in it, as you can see, I'm stirring it, no clumps. Okay, now it's been three hours and it's uh, cured. As you can see, it's... Hmm, this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, so now we're going to reheat it and pour it in the container and let it cool off again. And next up, we'll be testing it with an air gun. All right, first up, let's take a velocity reading of the uh, 25 or 26 grain predator pellets from the Rapid 25. Let's see how much velocity we're getting. Okay, so 946. Okay, here's the containers that I use, this little plastic Tupperware containers, about three inches tall. And there's the gel, the blocks. So let's give this thing a go. Looks like it, uh, let's see if we can get it here. It made a clear path right through here. Then it starts going kind of down a little bit. And then actually right here, you can see the actual pellet. Right here, you're looking at exactly 13 inches ex on the money, 13 inches. All right, let's try to recover the pellet and see what it looked like. Here, before we cut it open to find it, here's the very first block. And you can clearly see the path right here. The line from the first one, then the second one, and it's still going through five, five and a quarter inches. And it comes in here and it's actually right, right there. But what I found interesting is look at the, I guess the, I can't really call it rifling, but you could see where it entered here and on each side of the path of the bullet, north and south of it, it's the, you could see where the pellet started spiraling. It's twisting. So now this is, this is a spiral. It starts north-south, and it starts going east-west. See? Right here, it's 100% perpendicular to the flight. It's, let's see if we can find that in the second one. Yeah, see, in the second one, not so much. I don't see any of it. 
All right, guys, I found a razor blade here. I turned the third block, which it stopped in at 15 inches, turned it upside down. Um, let's, I'm sorry, 13 inches, my bad. Uh, let's cut it open and see what we get. And just pull the pellet out. I know you guys are like, yeah, yeah. Cook with the dialogue. Show me the pellet. Oh, I grabbed a JSB King. Oh. But this is actually pretty good because now we know even the Kings, you know, in gelatin, we know they penetrate 13 inches. So, and this did expand a little bit. Okay, guys, now we're going to try it with the Predator Polymag. 26 grain poly tip pellet. This time it is the right pellet in the gun. They're, it's basically traveling 930 to 940 also as verified by the crony. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what it'll do. Okay, so here we are at the first block. Uh, here's the entrance. Put a little light on it. I don't know how well this is going to come out on video, but Here's the entrance. There's the path of the projectile going straight up the middle here, right here. It's coming out, and there it goes going into the second one. We'll follow that. And then there's the pellet itself. So basically, there's your tip. And there you go. Look at that. Perfect mushroom if I say so myself. I don't know how you get any better than that. All right, guys, let's take a look at the expansion here with the uh, 26 grain, 25 cal predator. We've got basically 0.320, we'll call it 0.327 inch expansion. And it's basically what, a 0.251 caliber pellet. And we've got 0.327 so pretty doggone good expansion all right traveling 916 next up 16 grain JSB exact Uh, basically with the Predator, the 16 grain Predator 22, I have six and a half inches of travel. And here we've got, oh, let's go with roughly, we got 12 and three quarter inches travel. All right, we dug it out. There you go, you got perfect, perfect mushroom. I mean, just like the 25, same thing. Looks just like the 25. All right, the 22 cal, 16 grain JSB Predator. Uh, we got 
0.292 inch diameter. 